Hi there, I'm Than Norman and this is Natural Stone Systems TV. And today, uh, in our last episode, we showed you how to put together a seam. Today we're going to show you how to surface polish. Uh, you can choose to surface polish a, a seam or maybe you've got some scratches or something. We're just going to show you uh, how to surface polish and uh, what the results are if you're going to do it. So anyway, the first thing that I've got for you is what we are going to surface polish is a seam and I can give you a close-up of it um, what we've got here is uh, so we have got in the middle we've got the seam that we're gonna surface polish and just outside of it I've got some lines because we're gonna surface polish it and we're gonna use these discs and what I'm gonna do is uh, with these polishing heads is I'll know where I've gone to. So with the next head, I'll go out a little bit further. Now we're going to talk about the tools. What I've got here is I've got a variable speed grinder. Okay. And I've got that turned down to about uh, 3,500 to 4,000 RPMs. I've got two different types of abrasives that we're going, actually three, two different uh, really abrasives. I've got the surface polishing heads. Okay. And these are Alpha's Twin Curve. Uh, we're going to start with those to get the initial cut in and the reason why those are good is because they keep the surface flat and then next we're going to use uh, a, a soft flexible uh, diamond polishing pad and last we're going to use some tin oxide aluminum oxide with a felt wheel okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it wet I'm going to start with the 200 surface polishing uh, abrasive. Okay, so what we've got here is you can see uh, down the whole thing, the only dark line that I've got here, there's a little tiny bit of fuzz right here where it widens up where, I mean, it still feels good. There's no real lip. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with the next grit. The next grit in this process is a 500. So now we're going to go with the 500. Okay, so now I think we're just about finished with the 500, so we're going to clean this up, get all the goop off there, see what it looks like. Now, I usually do like to, you know, give some secrets and hints, like, oh, i do this many passes. The problem with that one, you know, and then you'll be, and then you'll be looking good. The problem with this process is that... Uh, especially for the first initial ones. How much time you spend on your 200 grit is really going to be a function of how much of the surface you have to cut down so that you get everything... Uh, that's looking pretty good. So that you get everything uh, to where it needs to be. Meaning uh, flat, your scratch is gone, your seam is smooth, uh, something. Okay. So now, the one thing that I notice here and I'm going to see if I can show this to you. Uh, everything is looking pretty good. Except for... Um, right through here, there's some pretty, uh, pretty deep scratches. Those are 200 grit scratches. So the reality is, in everything else, you can see it looks really pretty uniform. Nothing is standing out as a 200 grit scratch other than... Uh, right through here, which is why we needed to put those lines in, but I kind of got a little carried away with the 200. So you want to make sure, that's why those lines are good, because they just kind of keep, uh, they keep you on track and make sure that you don't uh, go too far out of bounds with one, and then when you put the next one on, you don't know where to stop. So, and I can do one of two things. We'll go ahead and try and touch that up a little bit. If I were to leave it, the lesson that I would show you is, if I leave a 200 grit scratch, don't get it out with the 500, it's not going to come out with the 1,000. 
that would be the lesson that we would learn if we didn't fix it. We're going to clean this up. And getting it cleaned up is pretty important. The reason why it's important is because when we're using a 500 grit diamond, uh, you've got 500 grit diamonds that are coming off in the process. So if you don't clean your surface really pretty good between the 500 and the 1,000, you're still going to have some 500 grit diamonds on there. So your polish just is not going to be that good. So take some time, slow down just a little bit, clean everything up, and you will get a better result. So now we're going to go to the 1,000. Again, we load that on. so that uh, our marks line up. That one didn't line up so well. I think it's because somebody... That's better. Okay. So we're going to get our surface nice and wet. And we're going to go out to the next line that we've drawn. Now this piece here is probably about 18 inches wide, um, and I think on average, so I was time in the last one, and uh, I was polishing with the 500 for about for about five minutes, a little under five minutes. And that's been a little shorter than five, but let's see what our let's see what everything's looking like. So that's at the end of the hard or the It's looking pretty good. Okay. So everything is uniform in color. Okay. There are no lips. Okay. So now, now we're gonna switch over. We just did a thousand. Now we're going to do a thousand again. Okay? And this thousand we are going to do with the soft Alpha brand diamond pads. Okay. So now we've done the thousand soft. Okay? So that it gets it gets more and more important mm -hmm. as you uh, work your way deeper into the polishing process to make sure that everything stays nice and watered down, okay? Very nice. Feels wonderful. Honestly, for feel, Haseem would be a 10 out of 10. And as you can see, as we start to bring the color back in the stone, I'll try and get different angles on it so that you can see... Uh, we don't really have a shine yet. We just have color coming back. Okay? And right here, in case you can't really see it, is the seam. Okay. So that is after 2,000. Now we're going to switch to three. And I do have two different things here that we can try. Uh, we might as well go ahead and do it just because uh, these videos are as entertaining to me as they are. Uh, maybe more for me than they are for you. But uh, what we've got is uh, I do have the final polish pad, so maybe we'll do one side with the final polish, and we'll do one side with that felt wheel that I was talking about. Okay, so we're going to clean this up. I'm going to get rid of this barrier here. And we will go to the next. Uh, so we're going to try two different, uh, two different finishing processes here. For our little comparison that we're going to do here, we've got two different, uh, two different final, um, po final polishing tools. This is the final polishing pad. Normally, I like to use a different brand because I get the, the best results. This is not the Alpha brand that I think gets the best results. So we're going to try. Uh, actually, that's the wrong side. We are going to do that on this side here. 
Okay, so this one, we do need to, uh, this one is different than the others. So for this one, we are going to start wet. We do want this one to get dry. to the normal one that I have with the alpha, the normal result. Or maybe a six. So pretty low. So I'm not really satisfied with how that particular brand pops. And I'll show you on here. You can see that, uh, and we'll do a comparison. We'll get the other side going. So you can see that it's just really pretty poor. You know, but everything's starting to come together pretty uniformly. We are going to mix our tin oxide, aluminum oxide. And this you want to be, oops, it's going to be kind of like a toothpaste when you mix it. And this pad works the same premise premise as the uh, as the other final polish one so we're going to get it wet okay and then we're going to work it dry I'm going to do here is this tool is getting a little on the warm side. Okay, so one of the things in some of the videos I was watching, they talked about uh, having a couple of them. Reason why you want to, because <laughs> is because they get warm. Okay, so this one's faster than what we like. We're going to add a little bit of water to this. I should close it in. show you what this looks like okay what we've got here is a surfaced surface polished uh, Impala black and it looks dynamite so I'm just gonna try and get you a reflection so that you can judge for yourself no tricks other than uh, you just got to use the right tools. Gives me a little bit of dirt right up there still. 
Thanks for joining us. Uh, again, I'm Than Norman. This has been Natural Stone Systems TV, and that is how to surface polish granite.